Alrighty guys, welcome back to the Combustion Gamer YouTube channel and for the racing in Formula 1 we are back here and we are going to be going racing at Silverstone for the British Grand Prix. We got ourselves a bit of a hole to dig ourselves out of it, out of because uh, well it was raining all through our practice and qualifying. Not a very good practice or qualifying session for us at all. So now we're going to be heading on into the race. Uh, all the way back in 22nd due to some slipping and sliding we did during qualifying. So that's not going to help us out. What does uh, impress us is Mick Schumacher over there, Lil Shoe. He's got himself a top four starting position. So we'll see how well he's able to use that. And uh, we're going to get into the race here in just a bit. Work in some strategy and then we will get racing. So we'll see you after the first part of the ceremonies or whatnot. Let's go. Great Britain then, one of only two countries to have held a Grand Prix in every single year of the Formula One World Championship. And the circuit extends that record further for today's Grand Prix. Straddling the border of Northamptonshire and Buckinghamshire, the 18 corners of the Silverstone circuit form the 3.6 mile beating heart of Formula One. It's been reinvented over the years, with Turn 1 now the fast right-hander of Abbey, but the magic of racing is as strong here as it's ever been. Anthony Davidson is here once again for today's Grand Prix. Now I want to talk to you about Carlos Sainz. They need to win in order to stay in contention for the title. Anything outside of that, and their fate is no longer in their hands. And they can do it for sure, as long as they don't dwell too much on the position. At the end of the day, there's only one way to go racing, and that's to give it everything you've got. Either your best is good enough to stay in the hunt, or it's not. There's no point giving any less than 100%. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. An immense lap from Carlos Sainz yesterday puts him in pole position, and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Bottas, Mick Schumacher, and Norris, Albon, Leclerc, Ricardo, and Daniel Kvyat, Ocon, Perez, Pierre Gasly, and Stroll, Matsushita, Russell, Kevin Magnussen, and Nick De Vries, Latifi, Giovinazzi, Correa, and the Rainmaster. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. Alrighty guys, so we do have an engine problem that is developing as we go racing here. By the way, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps out the channel out a whole lot. Uh, but yeah, what we're going to be doing is trying to be uh, easy as well since we do have that engine problem. And trying not to uh, hurt ourselves too soon here by knocking off wings and stuff. We're going to try and put ourselves in a nice, easy position, stay up with the field hopefully and slowly move some positions up. The biggest thing is right here, just trying to uh, stay nice and easy with everybody as they all cycle their positions on the start here. Uh, so, biggest areas on Silverstone, this particular circuit that I have the worst problems with is this right here. I don't usually get, uh, when trying to race at speed, super hard, can't usually get uh, enough Thank you. Uh, usually not able to get enough break and just kind of go off into the uh, rocks. That's my biggest problem. Next section is uh, right back here. So it's kind of like uh, Circuit of the Americas to some extent. I just usually cannot get the rhythm right through here. Although I'm doing decently right here. But that's because I'm not really nailing the uh, throttle at the moment. See if we can get one position. I'm not going to because I went off the track. But yeah, just... Trying to be as easy and careful as I can through this track and not go super um, super deep and super aggressive. Just be nice and easy with where we're at. And as I said, since we know we have an engine issue that's going to develop throughout the rest of the race, we just don't want to uh, exacerbate that uh, any more than we have to. Probably didn't say that word right. Exasperate? Exasperate? Yeah, I think that's the right word. Anyways. Uh, we're going to try and might not make the engine as bad as it could be by uh, going super hard. Actually, uh, Little Shoe starts in 5th. I think I said 4th earlier, but 5th uh, position start, not too bad. Pretty good, actually. 
So here we go into lap two. And so far we've kept up some pretty good position. Obviously we've got uh, quite a bit more power in the tank that we haven't even tried using yet. Just trying to stay nice and easy on the track. And uh, not, uh, might be able to get the outside here. Gonna break, let him have that spot back. Uh, we have speed, so we know that. Cause freedom pretty good, but we don't have speed is on the straights because we are running more of a downforce package just for uh, my comfort, my, my comfort on the track. So it seems like cause handling pretty decent. So obviously switching the standard that might give us a little bit more help. I'm trying not to get into career here, but he's pretty slow. We're gonna try and get past him here real quick, and then uh, go back to mean hopefully. There we go. Got past him pretty easily there. And gonna try and slowly move our way up here, which I think we can do. Amazingly, we've been able to keep the field with us. It hasn't driven away totally, so that's nice. We're still in the back, but I think we can still move up some. All right, so DRS is enabled. Got a pretty thick gaggle of cars up there. We got uh, Mick Schumacher currently holding position in fifth. Nice to see. Nice and easy around uh, Gimonazzi here. Trying not getting the bad graces of the Alfa Romeos like we did uh, in previous seasons. Always here at Silverstone. We're always getting in trouble with these guys. So we'll try and not get tangled too much here. Got some pretty good speed on him. See if we can't. We are, we are. I don't think we're going to be able to get past him here as these guys have just a little bit more speed. Right, you see right there, pretty good. Tires feel nice. So we're doing good on the tires. I really like how they feel right now. Go ahead and go off throttle so we're not totally messing up the corner. So these guys just have a bit more speed than we do. Uh, that's due to their setup. They have probably a little bit more of a balanced setup than I do, which is fine. But uh, on the straight, they definitely have a lot more speed than I do, so that makes uh, passing just a little bit more difficult for me. That's okay. Car handles really good. I like the way it feels. And as I said as well, we're trying to be nice and easy. I almost got into the back of Jim Nazi there. That's the hardest part on this track, too, is the passing. It's not a very good passing track, in my opinion. Let's see if we can't dive it in here. Yep, see, missed the braking zone, going wide, but I actually do hold on to the spot there. So trying to be aggressive, but not too aggressive. Nice and easy as much as possible. So I, didn't, I wasn't really planning on having a very good day here. Uh, I was hoping with some track position to have a decent day, but uh, we're going to have to claw and fight our way up. That's what we're going to have to do. So strategy-wise, I think it's going to work out pretty decent for us. So we'll see how uh, pits and everything work. Uh, what I'm more interested in is how uh, Little Shoes Day is going to go. But uh, yeah, for us, it's just maintain, get one more race out of this engine before it explodes and uh, be able to uh, move on from there and then switch out the engines. That's our main goal today. And if we can keep on moving up like we are, uh, I wouldn't mind that either. So break into the zone here. So these guys are kind of holding us up to some extent, it feels like, as there's a whole other gaggle of cars up in front of us. So let's see if we can't... Uh... I'm not switching my strategy. Strategy's fine. I'm going to try and catch up to these guys, not go too aggressive, but try to catch up to them nonetheless. Nice and easy. Yep, that's the problem that I have on this track. Lots of turning zones where the car just kicks out on me. So I don't, uh, I don't enter them very well for some reason. Alright, let's see. Alright, that's pretty good. Yeah, this is really more of a track that I have to be... 
Alright, so they're giving me more warnings on the engine, so we gotta keep a track on that. But yeah, this is just not one of my favorite tracks. Just the way the car usually drives, just it doesn't work out for me too well, so just knowing that. We actually moved up positions and we did it cleanly, so I mean that's impressive. Let's see, we're just gonna use some speed here and see what we can do. We're gonna try and make up positions if we can, but it looks like everyone else is driving away pretty good there. A little bit off of my entry there. I'll try to catch up with these guys here. And try not to uh, cut the corners and get two second penalties. We don't need those. Too much. The question is, these guys are going to switch from softs to hards or mediums. I'm going to guess everyone's going to go to a medium tire. Nice and easy, nice and easy, nice and easy. Good. So we'll see how the pitch strategy for everybody else works. Because I think I, how I have it set up is I'm going to be pitting... So everybody should, in theory, stop pitting before us, since we're running mediums. I guess I could have gone with hards to begin with and then switched over to softs, but it seemed like the mediums would be the best uh, position maintaining tire for me throughout the race, as that's what we're trying to do, is just maintain position. We have switched over to stand, uh, standard uh, as our main fuel currently. We don't go off track here, very good. So just uh, maintain, that's what we're working on. Hopefully gain positions, but maintain if we can. Brakes are really good. I'll tell you that right now, they grab real nice in that turn. Got a little bit too much because it almost uh, takes away all the momentum we have for the turn. So it's weird how it is. Going into, uh, I'm not sure which turn that is. But it is interesting how the brakes grab entering. A lot different than the rest of the turns, I can tell you that. Alright, nice and easy through here. Just trying to be as clean through here as possible, as this is my danger zone for the most part when it comes to spinning around. So we haven't had made up much position. As I would have expected, we've got, we've got some cloud cover on the track. That's going to be interesting. How that changes temps. Nice and easy through here. So is everyone going to try and do the same strategy? Are they wait until the last lap? That's going to be interesting to see here. Going to have about. I don't remember if I have it set for five or four laps. I'm going to try and wait until after Schumacher pits to uh, pit because I don't want to get in his way and double stack or anything. Just slowly again on these guys. Using up some excess fuel. Right, pretty good corner through there. Currently no one is pitting it seems like. Which is interesting. A few guys are. Right, a little bit close to uh, cutting the corner there. We're not, we're not gonna box. I'm gonna wait until uh, Little Shoe comes in. I don't want to get in his way at all because I am not important in this race until the fact that I suddenly become important. I'm not important that much. So uh, we'll wait until Schumacher makes his pit and then we'll come in. Because uh, I don't want to get in his way. Because I don't know how far ahead he is. I think he's probably pretty far up there. But uh, there is no reason for me to come in yet. As the tires are feeling pretty decent. Definitely like that. We're being nice and easy on the stuff. We're gaining some positions with the pitch strategy. So I'm just going to keep on working with that at the moment. And uh, we'll see what we do here. Nice and easy through there. And any cars we pass are, it's pretty good, so. Nice 
nice and easy through there. Very good. So we're waiting to see if the teammate is in the pits. Currently he's not, so he's still up in the front, I'm going to guess. Here, which is interesting. I'm going to keep on running. I'm out in the back. There's nothing really for me to gain or lose here. So we're just going to try freeze us in the pit so he's out of the pits. I'm not sure what I heard there. I don't know if I heard Shimaku was in the pits or not. Currently we're sitting ninth. There's still more guys to pick because I have not seen teammates in the uh, teammate in the pits yet, which is kind of what I'm waiting for until I pit. There's no need to uh, go crazy yet if we don't have to. Using a lot of overtake through here, just gaining some speed. Go ahead and hit some brakes as we go through here. Slow it down just a bit. Make sure we don't go off track. There it is. So can we gain any more positions? That's what I want to know right now. Because if we can, I think we might be able to make it all the way to the end of the race. But I think we do have to do the one mandatory pit stop. So we'll see. I see more guys on pit road here guys behind me going to pit road. I'm gonna go ahead and stay out here and see what else we can gain. Stapping up to second right now. Here's signs coming out on medium tires. Mess up his race a little bit looks like. Ricardo all the way in the front. I'll try and stay to the side here. He doesn't have enough speed to catch us at the moment. Looks like Ricardo has not come in for his stop yet. So staying out of the way of Schumacher and his pit, that should help him. So we'll keep an eye on that situation. Currently we've had a very clean race, which I'm very impressed with. Haven't had any spin out, the cars felt pretty good. Haven't had any wing damage or anything, so we're doing really, really good in this race here. We're going to try and get out of the... Uh, oh, there we go, yep. Get out of his way. It wasn't intentionally, but uh, we did do that. A safety car could happen here on this lap that would be insane we haven't had that happen really though so I don't, I'm really doubtful that that will happen but if that could potentially happen before our final lap here that could really end up happen, helping us out as we have been able to cycle very nicely towards the front here and these tires are holding good they're doing a really good job we got past another cars we're sitting here in third I know we have to do the mandatory pit stop here at some point though. Let's see, tires are doing really good. We had a really good uh, amount of wear on those. We're running the engine a little bit on the hot side so far, but you know what? Uh, we're, we're giving everything we got at the moment. Didn't realize my overtake was still on, so we'll turn that back off here in a second. back on here for a moment. A little bit too much cutty there in the corner. Our car's done a really good job this race. We definitely don't have the speed to be competitive, but we've done a really good job here. There we are, pit road. 
I'm going to be going to soft tires up next. It's a very slow pit road. I forgot how slow it was. Got the soft tires selected. We're going to see where we finish, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be in the back, unfortunately. Uh, Daniel Fiat is out of the session there. There it is, the contact with the uh, Alfa Romero. Always. <laughs> Always happens. Now we got some aero damage on the front. We'll have to see how that works. We're gonna try make up some of these spots and at least finish higher up than we are right now. We got soft tires. Everyone's been running on these uh, mediums for a while now, so they don't have as nice of a tire at the moment. So we're gonna see what we can do. Uh, Nick, De uh, not, a, not Nick Freeze. Although that's the guy that caused us a problem there on pit road we came off but uh, a little shoe up in the uh, top 10 at least not exactly sure where we're gonna go off track here we're gonna try and make up some of these spots here don't have as much downforce as I would like we have one exceeded the track limits there just a tad Nice and easy, nice and easy, nice and easy. We have a final lap here for P15. I'm pretty sure we cannot make it uh, to a top 10. But we're going to give it a try, that's for sure. I don't know, there might be some spots ahead of us here. we break because if we didn't break we we're gonna be off track and that was not gonna help us out at all all right good 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 here and we're gonna go off track didn't turn in time so that's gonna hurt us so we might be able to get this last position here, Perez. Perez, whatever his name is. Let's see what we can do here. Got the speed. Gonna get one last position, finish P14. Nice day overall. Strategy didn't work out quite as well as it would help, but it worked out pretty good. P14, we'll take it all the way from P22, moved up the ranks. Good day for us. We'll see where uh, Little Shoe finished. Plenty of action here at Silverstone. It was a memorable race, and what an impressive victory. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win.
So, let's review the driver's standings. Max Verstappen should be pleased with his performance, making gains at the top of the table. Some amazing talent out on the track today. But Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? I have to give it to the Rainmaster. They did a great job at getting the most out of their tyres without losing pace, something that's a very handy skill to have in modern day Formula One. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Red Bull pulled further ahead in the standings. Meanwhile, Ferrari have improved their position. A strong weekend from them as they fight their way towards the top. It's been an absolutely wild weekend of Formula One action. I can't wait to see what's next. All right, guys, great race for us here. Obviously, uh, we didn't have the best race because of starting position, but able to move up to P14, so really good day for us there. Uh, do we have more in the car? Not really, honestly. I don't think I could have done much else with it. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, just because of uh, having the engine problem already looming above us, uh, we just had to be able to take the car easy and try our best. We did a really good job and able to capitalize quite well and able to get a nice clean race done without uh, having too much damage. So that worked out really good in our favor. Uh, Michael Schumacher. Mick Schumacher able to go from uh, his fifth starting place position to sixth. So did end up uh, falling by one spot, but still able to maintain and keep pace and was able to get uh, eight points for the team altogether and continues to help out his driver standings as well. So great job by him. I think he's going to get a pay raise at the end of the year. But anyways, guys, really good race. Really enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully we can have a better race, but still uh, went from 22nd to 14th. Had a very clean race and uh, just tried some different strategy and it ended up paying off for us pretty good. So definitely like that. If we had come earlier, gotten the soft tires, would that have helped? I'm honestly not sure. I, I definitely wanted to just make sure that uh, we weren't in the way of uh, Mick there. Make sure that he didn't get double stacked and uh, honestly that worked out really good for him. And it ended up being a decent day for us. So honestly, I'm impressed with it. Good result. I definitely like it a lot better than my uh, P19s and P20s. So uh, I would definitely be very, very happy with that result. Really good. Looks good for the team. I like it. We made some results at one of my uh, not so good racetracks. So the setup did a really good job. So I like that as well. So, anyways, guys, we'll see you back at HQ and see what we got going on at the shop. Alrighty, guys, welcome back to HQ. So let's see what we got going on. So we look at our faculties here real quick, and uh, we got good morale from everybody. Our chassis could use a little bit of a boost. So let's see, do we have a chassis uh, department? There we go. We'll do a chassis team building. Go ahead and get that done. Uh, reaction training. Absolutely get that done for a uh, little shoe there. Uh, we got vehicle PR filming. We could get $15,000, but I don't think that's really uh, worth it that much. Uh, visitor Visit sponsor headquarters. That would be really good for the team. Uh, let's see. What do we got? We got... Uh, don't have a whole lot of slots left here, so let me see. Chassis, I know they could really use that. Power department focus, uh, aerodynamic equipment upgrade. Um, we're gonna go with, gonna go with aerodynamics. Get those guys done, and I think we'll go on from there. So we got ourselves 1,700 uh, resource points in the bank right now. That's certainly nice. Let's take a look at uh, what we can do in here. Uh, we got the intercooler that's supposed to hopefully come through. We'll see if it does. We don't have enough resource points to do anything in the chassis department, but uh, we definitely wanted to get their morale up from what it was. Uh, we do have cylinder head. That's another upgrade we can go ahead and start on. That would certainly start uh, helping. That's pretty cheap, too. We can go ahead and get that. Let's see. When would that be done? That would be done by the next Grand Prix, which would be Belgium. The Belgian Grand Prix. We got the Hungarian uh, Grand Prix, which is that's the first time it's going to be on the schedule. So this is going to be interesting for all of us here in a few years. Uh, it's been the first time it's uh, been on the schedule in a few years. So that's going to be interesting for all the teams to see how that works. I kind of want to get that done. Let me see what we have going on in uh, Aero. We do have the DRS gap, which we can get done. We could also get the Halo, which would be really nice to go ahead and finish off. Ooh, hello. Also got this nice little cheap upgrade here, which would help our, our downforce some. Uh, let's go ahead and get this. See if we can get this done before next Grand Prix. That would be nice. 
34% chance failure, and we just gave them a really good aerodynamic equipment upgrade, so we'll see if it comes through. Let's go ahead and advance time here. Chassis department. Intercooler has come through. Very nice. Aerodynamic upgrade, running cost, and Halo came through. Sweet. Okay. Awesome. We've had the new parts come through from the right, Let's see. I don't think there's we'll anybody the else over here concrete. that we can really get started. Oh, we can get this one started right here and get that done before the next Grand Prix. That would be nice. Let me see here. I just want to see. We do have a bunch of durability that we can really start to work on here. That would be nice. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, a lot of that we could do, but I honestly want to get this one upgrade we can do this at regular speed 9% chance of failure it should be done by the next Grand Prix so that would be sweet and you can see our uh, progress right there we are almost above Red Bull right now that's pretty impressive so nice to see alrighty we're switching out the engine and also the turbocharger here for the next race as long with the motor generator looks like we got a little bit less wear on our uh, let's see, what is this? Motor generator unit one there. Uh, we'll go ahead and switch that to the new one though, and we'll see what that does. Uh, the motor generator unit uh, connect tick at that one, the MJ, MJUK. That one's doing good, so we're not going to do anything with that. Uh, looks like we are good to go. I'm going to see if there's any upgrades we can do to the departments. We got eight million in the bank. Is there anything we can go ahead and start to get done here? Fabrication, we could uh, improve that. Doesn't look like there's anything we can really upgrade right now. I mean, we could do fabrication, but we're not really doing that much currently in durability. So I think we're fine on that. But uh, yeah, a lot of work done. So we'll see you guys here next time for the Hungarian Gun Pre. That should be a lot of fun. New track. We'll see what we can do. If I remember correctly, there's a lot of walls and a lot of sharp turns. So with my slower driving style, it might work out really good. But it also might be the worst race of our lives. We'll have to see what happens. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you like Florida racing, you can always check out the merchandise at the Combustion Gamer uh, Gear Shop. You can check that out in the links below. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.